All right, so uh, this is going to be Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and as well a Gemini Rising. Weekly general tarot readings, uh, tarot reading, I'm sorry guys, uh, October 5th to October 11th, 2020. And uh, in case any of you is interested in a personal reading, or you do want to take uh, one of my tarot classes, all the information in regards to these two things you can find into the description down below. So without further ado, let's uh, see what kind of a thing you are to experience uh, throughout this uh, week itself. Right, and uh, the first card here shows the very topic of the week, what the week really is going to be all about. We do have Justice with uh, the Lovers card. Wow, okay. So obviously this week is gonna be a major decision point, uh, for you that is, or a major point of where you will have to make decisions uh, as we do see these couple of cards. And those decisions, uh, well, there is so much to be talked about here. Uh, first thing what is important for you to know it is that there is no right or a wrong decision that you can make. Second thing, it is that your harmony and your balance will depend on those decisions. The more balance and harmony you do sacrifice, the more material gains you are going to have. The more balance you sustain, the less material gains from it, it is what you are going to have okay so these decisions as per with the lovers cards they always relate to what you have to do against what you want to do you can't have both all right and here with the justice card however this time around you're gonna have the discernment required in order to realize which decisions serve you better okay or which option serves you better because some people they will have to do what they have to do, right? And that will serve them better. But if they disregard everybody and everything around, they're welcome to do whatever they like. And that will be okay as well. But at the end, this will pay less than what will pay what they have to do, if that makes, uh, if that makes sense, okay? The example I like to give here is about jobs, a well-paid job, that you would love to do, uh, that you that you would hate to do, and a job that you would love to do, but it is not well paid at all. So which one you are gonna go for? You can't have both, right? And each one of them gives you something, but it takes away something as well. And so here, those decisions, like I said, they will define how big harmony you're gonna move forward with, material or uh, ethereal and under ethereal I mean a harmony within your soul so it is all within your hands okay uh, just with the justice I would advise you and the cards in the card in generally advises you Gemini to think of what responsibilities you have taken thus far toward people around and toward endeavors around okay should you abruptly break a, a responsibility that you promise that you are to undertake that will haunt you in a sense of that you will have to pay the price for that abrupt ending sooner or later so you have to also be accountable toward yourself and toward your undertakings here the next card shows what is gonna hold you back we do have an individual that is the knight of cups uh, with the ten of cups so uh, it's pretty typical with those couple of cards that that is a, um, a person who does not, who just wants the things to be as they are, but they can't, right? Because you have a decision to make and whichever decision you take, things are never going to be the same and that person wants the things to, uh, to be the same. So what is the, uh, the weapon of the Knights of Cups? as an individual, especially having it with the Ten of Cups here. Well, the weapon is the promise that, you know, they can offer so much more if you just stay as you are. The thing is, they can't. Knights of Cups, it's it's really well-intended individual. What I mean is that they do have an, an very good intentions. The problem is that they don't know exactly how those intentions are to be brought to bear. So they don't know how to materialize their intentions. And with that being said, 
This is a, an empty talker, a person who just speaks, but nothing is out there that actually can support their words, okay? And with the Ten of Cups next to it, it means that they are going to be very generous on the promises, but like I said, nothing is going to be there to support those promises. No different than if you realize that you have nothing to gain anymore from your relationship, and that is the other person into your relationship promising you that they're going to change, they're going to stop drinking, for example, they're going to stop uh, cheating, and etc., etc. And while that is their intention, they have no idea how they're going to do it, for it's stronger than them, okay? So next one here, it is what is actually going to help you, and that will be uh, the High Priestess, followed by the Five of Cups. All right, so that's quite peculiar, to be honest. So what we have with those two cards is, uh, what will help you is the sense of uh, self-forgiveness and how that sense really plays out. It is the, um, the determination that whatever choice you take here throughout the week, either stay or go or change your job or not, or undertake the project the project or not, or sacrifice something or not, you know, the choice is, will, it will be unique for every single one of you here. Uh, you are not going to hate yourself, okay? The, uh, the, the, the self-resignation, the awareness that what you do, it's the best that you can do for yourself and for the situation around as well, it will linger out there and pretty much you're not gonna hate yourself whichever decision you make. And additionally to that, with those couple of cards here, it seems that uh, the implication of your choice and the follow, the aftermath, and under an aftermath, I'm not meaning a bad thing as well, you know, the aftermath is like the consequences of that decision will be a, a long lasting enterprise for you to to deal with in a good and in a bad way. But once you make your decision, those cards are urging, not just only urging you, they are swearing for you not to change the path that you are to choose. Now that is going to be the worst thing that you can do, all right? Change the course of the decision that you have uh, that you have made previously or throughout the duration of this week. And something interesting here with those couple of cards as well, as everybody is excited about love, okay? Uh, those couple of cards here are urging those that are looking for love not to abandon the idea to seek for the true love, okay? It's very specific for those two. I know it's a general reading, but it's a, a specific property when the Five of Cups and the High Priestess falls together. So do not abandon your quest for searching for a true love, you're gonna find it. Or maybe you have found it already, it is just you are denying it in one or another way. And the last one uh, is going to be how the week ends for you. We do have the Six of Cups here with the Justice, uh, with the Judgment, I'm sorry. Um, this is like avoiding the inevitable uh, that we do have with those couple of cards, okay? Um, how do I approach this uh, this interpretation now? So what we do have is that how the week is gonna end, it is where you are to be rather quite pleased with the results of your actions or with the results of those decisions that you are to make throughout the week itself. It may not be just only one decision, okay? It may be many chain of a decisions that you will have to make. But at the end, how you set up your uh, your progress or rather like your environment in terms of career or in terms of relationship, you are going to be pretty pleased about it. I mean, you are, when, when you look at it, you are going to experience joy and glee, okay? Additionally to that, with uh, the Six of Cups and the Judgment card, it, the, the, these couple of cards kind of gives you the sense and probably not just only the sense, but as well the power, that you are actually giving the course of your life. For once, you have taken the steed, or the steeds, and now you are in charge of how your life is gonna move forward, okay? And uh, that is a, a big deal, um, or it's kinda like, not, not a big deal, but it's, it's pretty close 
to mind having the, the decisions that you have made. So just at the end, I will just conclude that that will be a major turning point for you, Gemini's, uh, throughout uh, throughout this week. I could say that that probably is the most fateful week for you, uh, for time to come. And hopefully you are to be true to yourself. Once again, I want to stress this one around. It is about self-accountability, okay? You have to be accountable to all the situations, but toward yourself first and foremost. And never abandon the quest that you feel you have to chase, okay? Regardless of what kind of a consequences that is going to have, especially if that's a quest for love for you are going to find it. And like I said at the end, once you are done with your decision making for the first time for many years to that have passed by, probably you are going to feel that you do have a full control over your fate. Not, not just only your life, for it was over your life, we would have the emperor here, but you do have a full control over your faith. And uh, from now on, it all comes to that you know, what you like to do and how you like to do it. And just, I could advise you with those couple of cards to schedule your next week, uh, 12 to 18, doing things that you would enjoy doing. So that being said, Gemini, this was your weekly general tarot reading for uh, the upcoming week. Hopefully you have enjoyed it and you do liked it. And uh, we are to see each other next time. Until then, bye.